Welcome. To Arcade Audio. And germs, welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilton Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilton Ball, we go on Wikipedia. Really quick random article. Can we talk about it. Yeah, we do. That's it. I don't know, dude. We got a, We got a Patreon. Yeah. Do you know that? I do now. <laughs> you do now. Go to Arcade Audio. No, that's not right. Go to patreoncom slash audio for all kinds of thrills, chills, spills, and automobiles. Automobiles. <laughs> Have, have you, did you watch the um, Olympics? The Olympics? No. I didn't see it either. Who won? <laughs> <laughs> what if it was like, all right, like Yugoslavia won, so now they get, you know, first pick in. Uh, what if the winning, the winningest country hosts? Oh, wow. That's interesting. That would suck. It would suck. I, he, I am, my legit biggest fear is that Chicago hosts the Olympics. Dude. I have a bad enough time as it is just when baseball season is happening and the Cubs games. So, no. That would be... I'd leave the city for that two weeks. Or the week or whatever the fuck. The Olympics last for four years. (laughs) It's four years every four years. Oh, man. Gosh, darn it. That'd be so bad. And, like, yeah, that'd be terrible. Mm -hmm. And we could do it. Which is like that sucks. Yeah, because we already have the stuff. Yeah, the things are here. The mm-hmm. fields and the um, the boys. bowls and the boys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be bad. It'd be pretty cool though for like the opening ceremonies would probably be pretty cool. Opening ceremony would be tight, and you yeah. know they would ha- need everyone in the city to fly Chip the drones and, and whatever. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of international competition. Uh huh. This Saturday is the Eurovision Finals, my dude. Oh my dude, dude, I'm so excited. Which when this episode comes out will be two well weeks past, past. Dude, yeah. I was sent out messages today. I was like, dudes, to like some of my friends that weren't invited. I was like, dudes, come and go watch Eurovision with us. Uh I'm so pumped. I haven't watched Eurovision live since I saw it for the first time by accident in England. And I was like, What the fuck is this? This is insane. I'm I, so excited. And I was like, that was like ten. That was ten years ago, dude. Fuck. So finally, I'm so excited. What? I don't even know who's in the finals. Me neither. I don't know anything. What are your favorite songs from Eurovision? Uh, I've got a few. I mean, my all-time favorite is probably the the crazy thin spaceman. Oh, um, uh, do you know his name? Uh, yes, it's like Dak. Dax Shepard. Um, it's Dax Shepard. And oh those, my fuck! I it's like the the name of the band starts with like a V. Okay. V, v, Vitas or Vitras? That, that's yeah, Vitas. I think is his name. And the song is called. And the, the dude is like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just just ululation. Um, I I don't know what the song is. And called. he has like triple jointed wrists. The way he dances is so uh, yeah. good. I love him. Um, I you know I I'm not an ABBA fan, but their performance of Waterloo is yeah, very good. I, like ABBA, I don't know what it is about it. Jessica really likes ABBA a lot. I don't know what it is. Are you guys gonna see Mamma Mia two together? Uh, I already bought the tickets, so yeah. Like, <laughs> I just bought five of them, just assuming. Um, what's what's the 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 one person like Lakita like Conchita 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 verse? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, um, I think I think they won their the, year. The the um, I think Sweden or Denmark had a very uh. Uh, hard Rock Hallelujah Yeah Where they look like Guar But um, Don't My favorite line from that is It's the day of rockening Oh man Which is Honestly too good I I won't deny That I would rather see them Than most things Yes But man What if it just real was Guar And they were just like Fucking the Pope's body on stage You know what I mean Like <laughs> Guar's cool because it's like, um, it's like rock and roll Gallagher. <laughs> That's a crazy thing you just said. <laughs> you know, with nah, like, yeah, with all, all the, the goop and stuff. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, there's also, there's a really, there's a song that I don't care for, but it's very catchy. Okay. I, I forget what country it is, but it's. I'm in love with a fairy tale. Oh yeah! Even though it hurts, and there's like violin guys yeah. like dancing around. Mm-hmm. There's another one that's like, uh, what's what? It's like, 
It's like Slavic girls do it right or something. Yeah, I think it's just called Slavic girls. Is that okay? Oh, uh, there's one called Huse by um, Montenegro is the country. I forget the band's name. Okay, that's the like space rap. You've it's, seen it. I've showed it to like, you. It's like the woman is singing, but then the dudes come out like, yeah. in astronaut suits. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Anyway, Eurovision rules. I, I fucking love Eurovision. It just sucks that we didn't get this out ahead of time so people could watch it with us. Yeah. Well, we should. I, I mean, we could flip it. Maybe. Well, Maybe we but should. it would still come out after Eurovision. Ah, fuck it. We'll tweet about it or something. Maybe. So if you had seen our tweets from two weeks ago and have watched it. Give us your predictions <laughs> at Dilltopball, <laughs> D-I-L-E-T-T-N-T-E-B-A-L-L, hashtag Eurovisionaries. Fuck yeah, dude. Yep, 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 yep. yep. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why they pay you in the big buck hunter uh, tokens. You can go down to your local arcade and play big buck hunter. I've got an article. Okay. Are you worried we're going to have to veto a second article in, a, in two weeks? No, I, I think we've gotten this one before. All right. Grammy Award for Video of the Year. Okay. Just the idea, the idea of it. The Grammy Award for Video of the Year was an honor presented to recording artists at the 24th Grammy Awards in 1982. It's crazy that they had more than 24 Grammy Awards in 1982. <laughs> There's a year. Yeah, Michael Jackson doing some stuff, I'm sure. You know, Queen. You going to the 13th the Grammys? Uh, next sh- week? I can't, but I'm going to try to go to the 14th one tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and the 25th Grammy Award in 1983 for music videos. So only two years. Eh, this well, won't vi- catch on. Videos weren't big. Yeah. Wait, that's when they were. No. The Grammy Award. They Awards, killed the radio star, you know. I'm aware. Mm. The Grammy Awards, an annual ceremony that was established in 1958 and originally called the Gramophone Awards. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that shit. Dang. I knew it wasn't named after my grandma. <laughs> the Grammy Award. This is an award for handsomest grandson. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes to Spencer, 12 years running. My brother was mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So it went me. Went me, Grammy. Uh, presented by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences. Huh. Science. <laughs> I don't know what that's a reference to. She blinded me with science. Oh, okay, yeah, from the same year. It won the Grammy Award for Best Science in Music. <laughs> um, of the United States to honor artistic achievement, technical proficiency, and overall excellence in the recording industry without regard to album sales or chart position. Do you think they got sued by like the Emmys or something? Like, hey, Bob, videos is our deal. Oh, I wonder. You know? I don't know. We'll never know. Because it's like right up in the mix. Do, do, do they not do that to this day? There's no video <clears> anymore? <throat> Two. Dang. First presented in 1982 to Michael Nesmith. No, who? For elephant parts. What is the... <laughs> I'm sorry? The award was reserved... For quality video cassettes or discs in any format created specifically wow. for the home video market. Wow. In 1983, Olivia Newton John was presented Fuck the award yeah. for, physical? for Olivia Physical. Fuck yeah. Beginning with the 1984 Grammy Awards, Video of the Year category was replaced with the categories Best New Video, Short Form, and Best Video Album. Okay. Now known as Best Music Video and Best Music Film, respectively. Okay. Okay, sure. So they just changed the name. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. Would Man, you rather her winning that award in that year is like fucking perfect? Yeah, like it makes up for Michael Nesmith or whatever. I believe Michael Nesmith was a monkey. Okay, all right, I retract my statement. They were the monkeys are crazy because they were a fake band, or they I mean they weren't, but it was like we're making a TV show mm-hmm. about a band. Mm. Come audition to be the band. So they're like a real band. They were they were the but first they were crafted like, for yeah, mm-hmm. or maybe not the first. You know, but, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I mean, like in my head, I mean they're not as big as the Beatles, but in my head they're comparable to the Beatles. Right, same. You know, I mean the the Beatles were never on Boy Meets World. You know, damn, were the monkeys on Boy Meets World? A uh, uh, hot few of them. One damn. of them played Topanga's dad. There were a bunch of wrestlers on or on Boy Meets World. Too. Mankind was on. Boy Mankind Meets was World. He was like the principal or something. No, Mister Feeney was the principal. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's like. The the biggest gap in my knowledge, like I know some stuff. About oh, you're some not stuff. A, you're not a Boy Meets World boy. Dude, I don't know dick about Boy Meets World. No way. Yeah, I'm. It's such an embarrassing <clears throat> like. I don't think you should be embarrassed. I think you should just watch it all. It's like a reverse party trick. Like I'm sorry, you don't know Boy Meets World. <laughs> okay. 
um i don't i i could see it not super holding up maybe i could i, I could see it holding up though i know nothing it. about I it i loved it i think and again i haven't watched it in absolutely years and years and years mm. i think that um I, I feel like sean and Corey's relationship was um very sort of progressive for the time okay because they were like best friends mm-hmm. but a well, lot they kissed of, right all the time with tongue <laughs> and they were so young when they were filming those scenes um <laughs> this is going off the rails i'm sorry oh oh i feel like a lot of times it, it was sort of played for jokes like they were kind of a, a couple okay but also like they <clears throat> They were they were kind like sure they really not, were not, like, a, not a romantic couple but they were emotionally available for each other yes they were like yeah. very very intimately close best male friends which I feel like is not totally missing from my upbringing like in terms of like like media someone to look at as like this is okay yeah, yeah. I mean it was I guess it was similar to like mm. um Tur- Turk and J D J D totally on Scrubs mm. it's just sort okay. of like uh like a uh, I know, yeah, I know. A romance, fuck yeah, that. I, so I didn't stupid. want to say it either, but yes, I mean right. that essentially, just like, right. but that was so long ago, and they were like kids too, which is so. It was just like That's it nice. was like a cool thing, like you can you can like right. You don't have to like eat dirt with your friends and then not yeah. cry when you get punched in the stomach. And, yeah, and they they were like very very open with each other all the time, yeah. and I feel like they they like would hug, you know, they would hug. I I mean maybe I'm like making stuff up now. <laughs> they would hug and and kiss <laughs> with tongue. All the time, uh, but you, you know, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, it seems like a very that's very nice, cool, positive thing. So, yeah, I love that. I, uh, yeah, we just need more of that positivity in our. I agree. You know, for, for real. Yeah, I yeah, I really do agree. <laughs> um, it, I I like I it's loved so it. nice to be nice to people, and it's so hard to do it. What if we start a show? All right, called Boys Meet Boy Meets World. Wow. Or boy, well, boy meets boy meets world because you're the boy oh, that meets boy meets wow. world. Wow, I think knowing nothing that you're onto a very good idea. That gives me an excuse to rewatch boy meets world, and it gives you an excuse to watch it. Yeah, and the title is very good. It's a good title. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm doing that. This is what's going to happen? Fuck, boy meets boy meets world. <laughs> Damn it, dude, that's so good. There's no way that's not a thing yet. Yeah, it's like you talking you two to me, like in terms of. No, no, I'm just, just mean, saying, like, yeah, unrelated to what you just said, I just had my own thought. Are you talking R E M Remy? Right. I always Our, ours would be better though. I wanted to do a podcast where you only watch, <laughs> you only watch Back to the Future, okay. two, <laughs> okay, and then it would be called Back to Back to the Future two. <laughs> Now, the thing about that one is it's also a very good idea. But you have to watch Back to the Future 2. The, the only good thing about that uh-huh. is that it's kind of like also watching Back to the Future 1. It, it, you're right. And it is also kind of like watching Back to the Future 3 a little bit. The only problem is there's already a podcast that does that. For uh, for the back. Grown Ups 2 or whatever. Yeah, I think I think they're on Sex and the City 2 or something now. Okay. Damn it. Because it's a funny... Just the name alone. Maybe we just make a podcast where we just come up with good podcast names. Yeah, like the opposite of what this one is. <laughs> How? Where we came up with a bad name and then had good content. We have a good name and bad content. Truly. Okay, here's a here's an actual question. All right. Should we rebrand? As back to back to the future too, but keep the same content. Yeah. Because I think we have a pretty objectively bad name. The name's bad. We thought what we I were hate, very clever six years ago. Dude, we thought it was so funny. And I feel like we <laughs> together just like set it together, basically. We mm-hmm. both had it like, yep, this is it. And now when I'm at a party and I've had enough drinks to admit that I have a podcast. Dude. And then their next question is, oh, what's it called? And <sighs> Forget I get it. <laughs> and then I say, I want to kill myself. And, and they say, well, I'm sorry for asking. <laughs> the other day I was doing like... Uh, Jessica and I were helping the upstairs neighbors like do some yard work. Mm-hmm. Um, That's a weird place for it to happen. In, upstairs, mm-hmm. they've got a big yard up there. <laughs> it's like um, Jumanji. So, so we were like outside, and, and I had to go a little early because I was recording a, a live stream for a uh, for <laughs> Never Tell Me the Pods, a Star Wars fan cast okay. that I do. Please bleep all that out. So, no free advertising. 
and they were like, oh, where one. are you going? Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> there's like 12 layers to this. And I'm not talking about the cake I had to eat. Do you but straight up? <laughs> like, do you want to know? No, no, of course not. No, you don't. You're just being polite. I don't want to know. Oh, right. Because, <laughs> yeah, you're like, well, I, there's, you're dead if you, dead if you don't. Like, yeah. what do I do? Be rude and yeah, just say no. Eat, no. <laughs> or be ruder and explain it to them. Well, in 1977, um, have you heard of George the, Lucas. The Star Wars Expanded Universe. Like, <laughs> yeah. You can't. You just can't. Yeah. Do you know what the concept of canon is? I had to explain canon to someone the other day. Oh, interesting. And, it felt bad. Yeah. <laughs> to, to even know that that's a thing is like, yeah. you're too far, you're too far gone. <laughs> right. Right. And like when I, when I said, that, I was like, something, I was like, blah, blah, blah is canon. And then I was like an off, I was like, oh, do you, you know what canon is, right? And and then she was like, no. And I was like, no, now I have to explain this. Now you know me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so exposed. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, some, either you or our friend, friend of the network um enemy of me peter <laughs> one of one of you guys sent me some stupid fucking internet thing and i opened it up and i started cracking up <laughs> and jessica was like what what is this and i showed oh, her you can't and she was like what you, you know you, you i would like you to just like show me more of the stuff that you like look at all day and that you think is funny and i was like you you don't want i that. know you don't want that that's a monkey paw wish so, yeah you so don't. then i started doing that and t- <laughs> Today I sent her a thing, you know the ab- absolute unit. Of course, I'm not I sent unit. her an absolute unit thing, sure. and she was like, "I understand this, but I don't think it's funny." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, this is what you wanted, huh? It's, it's, and then you're like, well, here's this meme, but it's a well, remix of this meme. It's, it's been a very fun game for me, and I think, um, very awful for her. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, doing like. A piecemeal dissertation on internet culture. <laughs> it's, I mean, I feel so bad for her. Yeah. But she, she asked for it. Uh, she literally asked for it. Yeah. What did she send you? Like, here's here's Joffrey Ballet, and here's who's playing well, in the sure. Joffrey and, Ballet. I mean, she'll send me, like, cat videos and stuff, which oh, I feel like nice. cat videos, like, kind of fell off. The internet was sort of based on cat videos for a while. It really was, yeah. Now it's, it's doggos. Well, fuck that. Which Pop I'm not into. And, look at this good wolf boy. Like, no, fuck you. Like, look, I love dogs. But stop using this language. Must, this, love, must love dogs. You must love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> this is my... Top of my Tinder page. Must love dogs. I'm sorry. I love dogs. <laughs> Say it fast enough. I love dogs. Put that together. We bought a zoo. We, we, <laughs> Bob, we had a baby. Bought a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Smell you later. <laughs> If we were the the morning zoo crew, you'd be the man named after an animal. I'd be Doctor Yeah, Doctor Humpus. <laughs> exactly, you'd be Doctor Humpus. I'd be Craig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, it's Craig and Doctor Humpus in the morning. On your drive time, ready to commute. Uh, ooh, girl. Hey, that's hey, watch it, Crumpus. Humpus. Humpus. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot your fucking name. <laughs> Hey, watch it, <laughs> watch it, Crumpus. <laughs> oh boy, Craig's drunk again. It's five thirty <laughs> in the morning. Gotta start sometime. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, <clears throat> we got Pigeon Man on the phone. Pigeon Man, you there? <laughs> All right, that's Pigeon Man. Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.